you're a sub. So this is meant to be a short beginner guide on how to play Jet and the absolute fundamentals of her as an agent. If you're looking for a more advanced guide, I'm going to have one coming up very soon that's going to go over all of the very, very minute tips and tricks and the things that really differentiate the good Jet players from the insane Jet players and their decision making and all of that stuff that will be coming up pretty soon. This is just pretty basic for now. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, subscribe to the channel and like the video. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much and have fun. So you want to learn how to play Jet because you don't know how to play her. Maybe when you play her, you feel lost or you feel that you don't have the impact that you would have on other agents. Maybe agents that are more reliant on their abilities and less self-sufficient. Jet as an agent pushes the boundaries of the game. And I think you'll find if you watch any guide that tell you this, playing Jet would improve your fundamentals as a player. Without a doubt, if you come from a different agent or a different role if you play sentinel or you play uh initiators maybe with the exception of ko you don't quite have the confidence in yourself and as a player playing jet will give that to you as long as you know how to push your limits the only real part about jet's kit that's important to know about is her dash that's it when this is activated in that 14 15 second window you are the most dangerous player on the map by far you need to know what to do with this and how to use it the key is confidence. When you're playing Jet, you need to make a plan on what to do and why you're doing it. When you're entering, you need to make a plan on what to do and why you're doing it. I'll give an example straight up. So let's say I'm playing attack. My team is split between catwalk and lobby. And I'm about to clear main. These are the two fundamentals of playing Jet. One, knowing how to clear your angles and take your gunfights being confident in that, and two, knowing how to use your abilities to complement your dash. When I'm taking this part of the map with my teammates, I need to be ready to pre-aim this angle or this play that's going to be here. I need to know how to clear angles properly. If you've seen Optic Ye's guide, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably have. Uh, he explains how you clear angles properly. I recommend you go watch that because he knows far more about it than I do. You need to be clearing everything individually and you need to be playing every angle like there is going to be a fight and like you're going to take that fight. If you are 100% certain there is a player there, pop your dash. If you miss, you get out and you're safe. That's what's so strong about Jet is that she can do that. You don't have to keep your dash for entering unless you know it's your only gateway onto the site. Unless you have no other utility, you don't have to save it for entering it. Do you want to be clearing your angles individually? You want to be knowing how to play a duelist. This is fundamental. You'll get used to this as you play Jet more and more. To learn Jet, you have to play Jet. So you clear all of your angles. You clear everything that you have. If you see someone backside, you ask for your teammates to use their utility to force them into positions that are unfavorable or to flash them. And you wait for your teammates to gather up behind you so that you can create space in a way that doesn't distance your teammates so far that they can't trade you but isn't so close that it does nothing like if you dash to here it's not going to do anything if you dash to here and your teammates are pushing short and your teammates are main this actually creates space what this does is it creates a crossfire between you and your team it creates a pinch a crunch if you want between you and your teammates and it allows you to clear angles and to take fights and diverts attention towards you as a player. That's why you dash onto site. That's the basics of how you enter his jet using your dash. Now, you don't have to dash onto site. If you know that a player is playing a, spe a specific position, you don't have to dash. You don't even have to use utility. If you're confident that a player is playing on this box, you can pop your dash, take that gunfight while pre aiming them, and you dash away. That's how you play the agent. That's it. That's all there is to entering. She's not that complicated and I think people overcomplicate her because she's so flashy because of her dash. But it's mostly in control of the player's confidence in their aim. You need to be confident in your mechanics as a player. It doesn't matter if you actually have bad aim, right? Like, theoretically, let's say that you're a silver player playing Jet. It doesn't matter if you're constantly aiming at their body. What matters is that you're confident when you take this fight that the player is going to beat them, that you're going to kill them. Because that infinitely raises your chances of killing that player. Because there's no doubt in your mind. You're not going to be, you're not going to be changing feet. Oh, I want to crouch or I want to tap. You're going to be there. You're going to be like, I'm going to kill them. 
I'm going to commit to this fight. I'm going to kill them. That's what's important about playing Jet and how she lets you improve because you become so confident in those gunfights that if you switch to another agent, you carry that confidence, or theoretically, you should carry that confidence along with you. Does she inflate ELO to an extent? Yes, not to the same extent as Chamber, but does she allow you to, to learn the game faster? Yes, definitely. That's all there is to entering as Jet. The only other thing I would say is don't be afraid to lurk or don't be afraid to flank because she can flank fast, the same as Neon can flank fast with her dash. She can take space fast. Like if I have my dash up and I know that my teammates are pushing main all the way here, I can just run up here, I can dash and destroy, I can do whatever I want. Don't be afraid to not go with your team. It's just that it's easier for you to play with your team as a jet in ranks especially. And the higher up the ranks you get, the more that you'll realize that you can play by yourself as much as you play with your team. You just have to be smarter about it, smarter about the positions that you take. But that comes with learning where players play and being able to notice patterns. Okay, so playing Jet on defense. Now, this is actually quite similar to playing her on attack. A duelist role on defense should also be to defend the space that you have and take more space away from the enemy. In ranked, it's important that you figure out how the enemies are playing attack because they will have a pattern. They will have a pattern and learning how to abuse that. So I'll use B for this example, just for the sake of mixing things up. The round has just started. I don't have anything to play off. Let's say it's just me and a Sova and his arrow. The rest of my team is on B, mid and short. And I want to create presence and I want to let, my, let myself be known on this site all while getting information, keeping myself safe, and potentially getting a kill by punishing someone if I can help it. Jet excels on defense by using her dash as almost a safety net to push into these positions to take this space, to hold, to wait for kills, to get that kill or to miss your shot, and dash out, or to stay there and hold that position. Like here, you ask your server to throw an arrow onto the wall, you see there's no one, you push up, you take the space, you take the space, you know there's no one B, so your team can rotate to A. That's why Jet can also be super strong on defense. Her dash gives her extra confidence in where to play and how to play. The same could also apply to taking peaks aggro. Now, this is something that I recommend you practice, and you recommend I recommend you practice pre-aiming all of these different places, like here, like like midlink. I will come there. I'm gonna pre I'm gonna pre-aim here. I also recommend that you learn to adjust your aim wider. A lot of players hold very very close angles, very very tight. You need to accommodate for your actual reaction time um, and the movement of that player. If you don't know how to accommodate for your reaction time, just hold wider. Just hold wider in general. Imagine they're walking out a few steps because they have to stop to shoot. Not many players jiggle like that and then shoot. Not many players do this. A lot of players swing wide, especially in low ranks. They always swing wide. Maybe in higher ranks you'll get some more jiggles, but I recommend that you hold wide in general. With taking peaks, it works pretty much the same. You activate your dash, you walk out, you walk out, you hold the angle, you get the kill and you dash away, or if you see no one, you walk up, you maybe ask them a utility, or you hold it. It's the fundamentals of playing Jet on defense. Other things that you can do with Jet, it's comboing your, your dash with flashes, and it'll take space fast, making a play. I'm sure everyone has seen the the tens updraft on A main, and he gets like three kills and he drops down. Stuff like that's also really effective, but you need to know not to do this every round. And otherwise, playing jet, you can play very passive, uh, play higher up angles or off angles with your updraft in order to to get kills before they get onto site, or to just stop them when they walk out when your teammates smoke. Uh, when your teammates smoke, it's pretty basic stuff and. Jet's a pretty basic agent. Third part about Jet is her ultimate. Uh, fully accurate while you're running, jumping, updrafting, anything, anywhere you want. You can take anything with this, do anything, whatever. Now, I'd argue that playing knives, or at least in my experience, in my thousands of games of Jet, playing knives on attack and playing knives on defense are very different because on attack, you get to choose your fights. On defense, you don't, which means you have to hold and that puts you in uncomfortable positions. But you need to understand this is a gun like a Vandal. You don't need to force yourself to take fights while running. You don't need to force yourself to abuse everything in the kit. It's still 
a gun that you could use on ecos you can still use it like a banner you can hold your angles another part about using jet snipe uh, learning how to use your movement to aim so placing your crosshair in a position where they're going to be similar to pre-aiming but you're going to be constantly running and just and just moving and using your movement to guide your aim so you don't have to be constantly in control of every single micro movement that you make and giving yourself RSI uh, because it's just so much easier and you'll find that it will probably make your aim better especially if you're new to playing knives if you're confident that you can like control your aim all the way do that it's personal preference I mean your aim is, is your aim play how you want to play but but I recommend if you're new to playing knives that's how you do it another thing is abusing your updrafts and your dashes and right clicking I don't see players do this enough whenever you take a fight with your knives have your dash ready because it just adds a layer of extra mobility to everything that you have. It makes you even scarier if you're doing all of this and you can just leave whenever you want. Like how crazy is that, right? Just have it available whenever because you're so strong when you have these up. It doesn't matter if you lose that dash because you have knives. You have updrafts still. Dash isn't as important when you have knives because you can jump over stuff and get kills. Like, you know, I want to see the top of mid. Boom, 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 boom. They're dead. You can updraft dash. You can do everything when you have your knives. And don't be afraid to right click because when you right click, it's usually a free kill. I mean, look at how close those are together. That's actually crazy. Right click, you get a free kill. You get a free gun. Or a teammate gets a free gun. Or it's just someone dead. And it's, it's more space for your team to play around. You don't always have to be left clicking and trying to look for the head. And I think that's important to understand. All in all, Jet is, in my opinion, the most basic agent in the game. Uh, but I think she's also the most important to know how to play. Because her dash as a single ability is so strong. And knowing how to use it, having the confidence that dash brings in any gunfight will carry over to other agents and, and carry over to you your gameplay in general it would just make you such a better player so i think it's important that you learn how to play jet if you enjoyed this video don't forget to follow me on twitch i'm live basically every single day uh follow me on twitter for updates and everything i do uh and also just because i post some funny stuff sometimes and if you enjoy liking the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>